Happy day, and welcome to the Susan and Solace Homestead. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification buttons if you are inspired or wish to support our future endeavors and videos. As you can see, what we're doing here is we are installing the front pipe for our rain capture. Currently, we were only capturing about 50% of the rain, but my dear friends Ishmael and Jose are here helping me dig a new trench and all around the porch, and then we're gonna connect it to the existing underground pipe with this drainage pipe. And it goes underneath here. And fills up our rain pond, which then gravity feeds. And the second thing we're doing, dun, 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 we're gonna run two more inch and a half pipes and come in here to complete another loop on our property. Let's just take a little quick look as the aquaponics, heart of our system. Look at the little clover pollinator patches, our little greenhouse, sauna, pollinator swing. But this, we just started this morning. It's gonna go there for the rain pond and then it gravity feeds back down do, 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 to a pump over there. Goes to the greenhouse, goes back to the aquaponics. We wanna get this, and this is about a 200 foot trench, which is gonna come through here, come through here, and we're gonna bury it about 12 inches, and it'll be gravity fed all the way to the Nebula Pond Snail Filter. Bum, ba -dum, bum More incredible clover pollinator patches. It'll come through here, all the way up here, and this is the highest point of our property. The Nebula Duckweed Snail Pond Filter Tomato Ceiling. And kale and greens for our chickens. So, we're gonna come all the way underground, like I said. All the way from where I first showed you to our rain pond capture. And just like this guy, which circulates back to our sump pump into the water filter, we're adding two more lines on the other side. So it, we can increase the water flow in here. And then everything will be draining from one tank to another tank to another tank. Always cyclating, circulating the water, oxygenating it. And an interesting thing, we get snow. 